What's going on, Exiles? It's Hedgy again, and we have another character in the Tempest League. This one is going to be my Freeze Pulsar. I named it Hedgy's Mom. We're going to be EB, AA, MOM, Zealot's Oath. A lot of people are uh, naysaying that this even works. I've tested it thoroughly on the beta. I got a lot of the pieces already good, uh, ready to go. We got the Restless Ward. 5 link, 6 socketed, that's waiting for us. We got the series step. We don't have the Wrath Pith because it's ridiculously expensive. Morkin, I'm probably game getting a Rumi's Concoction. And most importantly, we got that Dotary's Elixir. So, just the preliminary skeleton of the tree. Uh, pretty much went out this way. And I had, you know, I was pretty decked leveling up. I had two Life Sprigs, a couple Elrion pieces some tabula rasa action so we did level up pretty smoothly uh, with no damage problems i know it's kind of unorthodox to level this way but i just did this because i wanted to save the regrets in the long run and the respect points as you see we have 17 left so we went the long and hard route we went up to annihilation got cruel, cruel preparation to get more resist at this point, I was kind of in a dilemma, you know, after picking up Frostwalker. Do I want to go Templar first or Shadow? Usually, I always go Shadow. This time, I decided to go Templar a little bit. I went to Retribution, Discipline, and Training. Picked up this wheel. And then we went to Elementalist, Light of Divinity. We didn't get Sanctity yet. We just left these two points alone. Then we started to travel towards Shadow. Got cold-hearted calculation, assassination went up all the way up this way. Trickery, after trickery, I believe I started to finish Templar. Got sanctity, and I think I got this jewel. And that's about that time. And then I needed some strength, so we picked up a 30-node physique. And the reason why we go up this way, I know it's a lot shorter to just to go this way, but we are going to spec into this wheel and we are going to spec into this life and ES wheel to pick up Doomcast. Uh, eventually I'm going to set myself up to pick up Eldritch Battery at four points there. We're already one point away from Mind Over Matter. Right now I'm working up this way into this Chaos Resist wheel to pick up Purity of Flesh. That's going to give me more strength and you know I'll be able to pick up Zealot's Oath on a switch. Uh, but right now we have Ballistic Mastery that gives me that proj speed. In addition with Sniper, there's more proj speed, so I don't actually have to use the proj or increased projectile speed support gem. It does quite fine without it. Now we have Heart of Oak, Stun Avoidance, Life Regen, that's going to come in handy when we go Zealot's Oath. We're going to use Enduring Cry to keep up with the energy shield demands and that recharge. Um, at the moment we're using Vol Storm Call. This will probably change uh, as I'll want something different in the future. We have a Chaos Golem for physical damage mitt. We have Self Cast Enduring, Enduring Cry and I'm going to end up having five Endurance Charges by the end of this build. Uh, the Wand is pretty good. Spell Damage, Cast Speed, Crit Chance, Crit Multi. Uh, we have Faster Casting, Flame Dash, Summon Chaos Golems. Just, you know, very mediocre setup. Then we have a really nice Helm that I, ha I found leveling you know, a long time ago on my Marauder. Uh, so we have increased duration, enduring cry, innervate, and Vol Storm Call. So when I pop some Vol Storm Call, I do get an onslaught, which gives me a boost. And enduring cry, increased duration, that makes this heal over time. The 262 go for 1.2 seconds, 24, and that will extend much higher. We have Herald Device, Enfeeble. We have Tempest Shield, Assassin's Mark, Curse on Hit, Herald of Thunder, Greater Multiple Projectiles, Cast and Damage Taken, Arctic Armor, Arctic Breath. And keep in mind, you know, when I pop these Dodri's Elixirs, you know, my Cast and Damage Taken goes off. So we're getting that chill ground action again. It's like one of the nice interactions with using this Elixir and a GMP Arctic Breath Cast and Damage Taken. Uh, as far as the tabula rasa, we have uh, quality freeze pulse. This is the most important quality jewel or gem that we that we're using. It gives me 40% increased proj speed. Then we have spell echo, lesser multiple projectiles, mana leech, cold pen, crit damage. Uh, mana leech will be substituted out once we go EV mom zo. Uh, as far as the belt, 
The belt has an important suffix. It's the reduced flash charges used. That helps, uh, gen you know, helps me generate a lot, or helps me use Dodri's elixir, you know, much more frequently. So, because it doesn't require as many charges. I may divine this. I'll probably end up putting movement speed on this. It's pretty decent. I actually bought this for a cheap, cheap price of two regals. That's what the guy wanted. Uh, the necklace is nothing special. It, this is actually a quest reward that I got in Solaris after turning the uh, after getting the Infernal Talk. Pretty nice. And then these are two rings that I found. You know, leveling my Marauder. Just decided to use reuse them, and they're great, honestly. But let's uh, show you a little bit of gameplay. Right now, I am in Act One, Merciless, and you'll notice there's automation with a curse on hit. With some of the golem, you don't have to run Tempest Shield, but it's great, great damage already. And I'm using Dodri's to facilitate the charges, all my charges. I am using Blood Dance, but that will change with its series step once I can equip it. So Blood Dance aren't necessary, they're just a nice filler for leveling. And you can see that that Onslaught goes up. Ball storm call. Chilla corruption would be an excellent jewel. Unfortunately, that unique jewel is very expensive right now. So I won't be purchasing one for a bit. Maybe I'll try and corrupt one. Slower projectiles is something that I use when I feel like I'm gonna encounter a very tanky boss or a boss that has a lot of HP. And that will substitute lesser multiple projectiles, and it'll do a lot of damage. But my curse on hit will apply with my tempest shield. I'm not sure how I like the interaction. It, you know, it's extra tankiness. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated with this character. This is my next project. We're gonna hit level 82 very fast, and then we may go make a ball lightning trapper on the warbands league. Because right now, my goal is just to hit 8 of 8 as soon as possible, and then we can finish this Freeze Pulsar when we get back. If you guys have any questions, feel free to come to my channel live when I on Twitch TV. It's twitch.tv slash TV, Or feel free to drop a question or a comment in this YouTube description, or in the YouTube comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.